Hi, I'm Abby. I'm the senior editor of Read It Forward, and today I'm bringing you two books with characters who are struggling to make their own luck. Hey readers, I'm Jess, assistant editor at Read It Forward, and this month I'm bringing you two books that have really resonated with me and made me feel all the feels. I haven't been able to stop thinking about this book since I finished it. It's A River of Stars by Vanessa Hua, and it centers on a woman, Scarlett Chen. We first meet her in China. She's working in a factory, and she's fallen in love with her married boss and is carrying his child. Now, he is so excited because he has three daughters, but Scarlett is carrying a boy. And so he decides to send Scarlett to Los Angeles, where she will give birth to this baby on American soil, thus giving him advantage early in life. But the conditions at this house for pregnant women are absolutely terrible, and when Scarlett finds something unexpected in her latest sonogram, she decides to flee, and she hits the road, steals a van from the house, and heads up to San Francisco. Now, she ends up having a stowaway in the van. It's Daisy, another pregnant woman. She is practically a teenager, and she is desperate to find her American boyfriend that she feels she's being kept from. So these two women have to face the world with only themselves as a team. And this book centers on the American dream, it centers on immigration, and really what it means to be a mother and it's absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. So Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman is perfect for anyone who loves a really quirky protagonist. Um, it follows Eleanor, obviously, uh, who is a loner, definitely very awkward. She kind of just goes to work um, and then goes home and doesn't really socialize with anyone in between until she meets Raymond, who is an IT guy at her job and he kind of disrupts her world and her bubble and brings her out into the world. Um, Eleanor is a very hilarious uh, protagonist. She has no filter and is very naive in certain senses, um, but you realize throughout the novel that she's actually been through a lot and her past is very dark and heavy and a burden um, and so you fall in love with Eleanor and you fall in love with her quirks and this book is heartwarming and heartbreaking all at the same time. This book is a really engaging young adult read called Jackpot by Nick Stone. Now this book centers on Rico who is a young woman, she's the daughter of a single mother, they don't have much money and Rico races home to take care of her brother after school. She also works at the Gas and Go to make a little pocket money. And when she one night sells a winning lottery ticket that goes unclaimed, she freaks out. And she really feels compelled to find the winner and let them know that, hey, they've got a winning lottery ticket in their pocket in hopes that they might, you know, slip her some cash. So she teams up with her classmate Zan, who was in the Gas and Go that fateful night. And Zan comes from a world of tons of money. So the two of them team up to try to find the lottery winner. And in the process, they end up spending a lot of time together. This book centers on class and racial differences. It's all about teenage angst, and it's such an immersive read. I basically love anything that Nick Stone writes. She was the author of Dear Martin, and this book is a really, really fast-paced, but also very moving read. So I've noticed lately that near future dystopian fiction is on the rise, and although it's really scary to read, um, Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro is a perfect book to revisit or read for the first time. Um, basically, it centers around Kathy, who is our protagonist, and we see her as a child in a special boarding school with other children her age. She doesn't know exactly why she's in this school, but she does know that all the children there are there for a 
special purpose that will be revealed to them when they come of age. And as she gets older and as she leaves this school, she does realize what this purpose is. And it's extremely dark and unsettling. And basically this book makes you question humanity and what makes us human and why certain things are right and wrong. And it will just make you look at everything in a different way. So highly recommend picking up this read.